if there's one thing that has the potential to really confuse you when trying to deal with uh, performing 3D frame analysis, it's how to deal with rotations in 3D space. Now we're going to tackle that head on in this section. By the end of the section, you will understand exactly how we're capturing be element orientation or beam element orientation. Uh, now understanding how to handle element rotations, um, element orientation uh, and transitions between different reference frames is going to be critical in this course and the output at the end of this section is going to be a transformation matrix that allows you to map from a local element reference frame to a global reference frame and vice versa. So we'll start with a lecture on how to represent orientation in 3D space using reference frames and rotation matrices. After this, we'll review the concept of direction cosines in 2D and see how we can expand this to 3D. Finally, we're going to bring together what we've covered in the previous two lectures and determine the transformation matrix for each element that maps between that local element reference frame and a global reference frame. Now this is a relatively short section, but like section two, it's really crowned with critical important information, so take your time with this one.